Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Tatami Galaxy episode number 10. Alright, the previous episode we uh, saw Ozu's actual, you know, like what is actually in his heart. Why he like, you know, like does everything so happily, like he lives his life so freely and all, like, you know, unhindered. And we saw what is actually beneath the whole, you know, like happy-go-lucky type of character that Ozu is and it, it has a goal you know it has a very um, what can I say very respectable goal which is that he is doing everything for you know for her girlfriend and at the same time it's not that he's only doing that he's having fun himself like that's one of the best you know best things that i've ever seen in this anime because it really shows that like you know the contrast between the main character and ozu where the main character is chasing this fantasy which probably never exists giving his best for that fantasy at the same time ozu is also chasing something but it is you know the thing that he's is he's chasing actually exists and at the same time, he's not sacrificing his own happiness for doing that. He's having fun himself, which shows the amount of difference, the contrast between the main character and Ozu. Like, you know, like the main character is like, oh, I'll get there. I'll get my rose filled campus life. And to get that, he, like, you know, he sacrifices his happiness each and every time, each and every route. He sacrifices his own happiness to get that one happiness that might not even exist and like ozu he he tries to get he's, he's also trying to get something but he's not sacrificing his, his happiness because of that like you know like it really shows the like you know difference the contrast and the main character also got to know that and now like you know he he feels very like you know bad because obviously like i can't blame him he has been doing this for so many routes even though he himself does not remember it i'm sure it like you know the sensations everything the experience is in his heart remains in his heart like these nine episodes he has been trying to like you know get something so i'm sure like you know like after seeing ozu the person who he thought is similar to him and you know uh, just like you know ambitionless and like that like having like you know like doing weird stuff he actually understands that Ozu is a lot ahead of him and he feels you know depressed what and like in the end we saw him like you know confining himself in the tatami room and saying that I won't get out of this place anymore so let's see will he grab the opportunity uh, or what will happen uh, this is the uh, penultimate episode uh, I think it's episode 10 and the next episode is the last one so I'm sure something will happen. So yeah guys, without further ado, let's get started with episode number 10 of Tatum Galaxy. So yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Ex what? Free tatami room, okay. Oh. So. Oh, end to end. <laughs> what? <laughs> One tatami room. Damn, that's short. Okay, that's scary. He lives in a 4.5, yeah. Nice. True beautiful square, yeah. <laughs> yes. Whoa. <laughs> Good. Seven, eight, ten. Truly worthy. <laughs> I'm going to talk about this. This has a big symbolic, you know. Like he's trying to say that we should not go bound. Like you know, like we should not. Wait, sir. We should not 
like you know try to like you know wish too much as he was saying you know like we have the authority we have the right to rule in a 4.5 tatami room that means it's neither too big nor too small and he's saying that we should not go out of our way to try like you know to catch the moon that's in a way very negative way of thinking because as they say like you know human beings can do anything but at the same time like you know uh, that's also true in a way the things that he's saying like the things that he was doing he was trying to get beyond that 4.5 tatami room and he saw what happened he, he wasn't able to get anything by the end of it so now he's saying like yeah like I should be content with the thing that I have that's basically it that's basically what this anime is be content with what you have you know like neither too small not too big moderate amount like a moderate amount is the best amount and <laughs> the way he explained this was really so you know good like so beautiful like the way he compared it to the 4.5 tatami room like that was really brilliantly done and th that's why i'm guessing it's called tatami galaxy wow okay hey guys uh, my camera kind of shut down i don't know why so i'll try to sync it properly okay let's see train what that me i do Oh, so he never, he did not join any club this time. Whoa, he's spending, yeah, he said himself that I'm going to not get out of this place. <laughs> what? In a sanctum. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Library of <laughs> Wow. Grand Library. Okay. Yeah, he's <laughs> he just explained his room. <laughs> that was that was great. What? Someone outside? Wait, what? Wait, wait, what's happening? Oh, metamorphosis. The proper man shall be. Listen, come. I don't think so. So he's, he's getting like, you know, the whole hikikomori thing, like he's afraid of getting out. Yeah.
Wow. Damn, the, they like incorporated these, like, you know, the uh, real world scenes. <laughs> what? Yeah. You, you better listen to her. Yeah. How, how much did, he, did she charge? 10,000 yen? 10,000 yen. <laughs> oh my god. John. Oh, the Castella. <laughs> oh, God, what the? Oh. Oh, he's trapped in this. Okay. Okay, I was unable to understand it properly, but I think I understand what's happening now. So, so no, don't. The moth. It's not reminding him of. Okay, yeah, so he's trapped in this, like, you know, this kind of, uh... Like... <laughs> like, is this room connected to the other roots or something? Like... Like, he's eating it. <laughs> I can understand what's happening. You remember that episode when the, the guy with the like you know beard came out out of the closet or something? Is this something like this? Like <coughs> excuse me. Oh damn. So many cockroaches at the same place. Wow. I think that's what's happening, isn't it? Like it's connected to the... <clears throat> oh my god. Ah! Who is here? Uh, I stopped and went to run. Also, oh. <laughs> so Wow Imagination Yeah, you're the god here <laughs> Training himself. This is coffee. 
Oh my god, Cast Castella and coffee and training. Yeah. <laughs> this is fun. Damn, he's going to get like, you know, muscular. Like this. Uh, wow, he, he, he learned how to differently. <laughs> wow damn he's positive oh no it's actually realizing that how alone he is Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, wow. He actually, yeah. He can get out, that's why he ever. Weak. Okay. Damn. Hundred <laughs> Yeah. So he's trapped. Yup. Alchemy. Ten wallet. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> he went on his own journey to find money. Is it getting them? Like really? Whoa, 1000 in yen in every room. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Different. There you go. It's different. Yeah, like it's from the different routes he's gone through. So that means so many times he has like, you know, changed his route and traveled. And I think my like guess is correct. The beard guy is this, like, you know, him in this episode. Yeah, he, he's growing his beard. <laughs> wow. Okay. Come on, let's go. Yeah, break that wall. Damn, that's a strong television. <laughs> but I'm guessing these are like, you know, like tatami rooms, so Yeah, it's the same room. I'm guessing unless and until he himself, you know, sincerely thinks that, yeah, I want to get out of this place and live my life properly. He won't be able to get out or something like that. Like he, there must be still some kind of, you know, like stopper that is in his heart that is stopping him from getting out. <laughs> there, there you go. Oh, oh, lucky catch. Huh? Mm. 
there are differences. Oh, okay. Yes! So imagine how many parallel worlds. Yeah. Imagine the number of parallel worlds he actually went through. You know, it's not the 10 parallel worlds that we know. There are a lot more as well. There you go. This is Ryoko. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Threw away my backpack. Okay, now what? Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow, he's relieving all the parallel worlds. Yeah, that's Jogasaki. <laughs> he's remembering. Is he going to remember? Like. <laughs> yeah. So oh, what? What is that? <laughs> hmm. Is this Ozu? Oh no, okay, that's his imagination. Yeah, he's eating the... Like, you know, like I remember, like, him suddenly going into his room and finding the castella eaten. So this is what, when happened. Yeah. You can get a better... Oh, there you go. You can have a better future than this. Okay, this is what we saw in one of those episodes, you know, when he got freaked out seeing this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's... And he's going to close it. Yep. Yeah. Has no end. So how do you get out of this place? Unless and until you... I'm sure like he has to realize it himself that... I will change. And grab that opportunity. Damn, Johnny is also tired. Wow, okay. Alright, that was a surprise. I was not expecting that. And... Like, this episode really shows how... Like, you know, as he said, that these futures had so much color into it. And look at me now. I'm just wallowing in my self-pity kind of in my 4.5 tatami room, doing nothing.
and even though those you know those roots were not perfect he was he also you know enjoyed himself even if it was a little bit so he should definitely try to get a better future than that you know like those future were flawed where he was trying to chase that fantasy those future were definitely flawed but at the same time it was not completely like you know um what can i say like completely useless like the episode today where he is just sitting you know doing nothing so like instead of like he said that I should can i also get a future like that yeah he can get a future like that but i don't think he should like you know confine himself in that like you know a uh, little future that he's seeing he should try to go beyond it like all these roots definitely had their plus points but it was full of mistakes that he made so like he should try to okay that's it he should try to reach a future which is even better than these roots that he has actually went through all this time and next episode i i hope like you know i i wish something like that might happen at least i think so like let's see like i, I don't even know how he's going to get out of this place but i'm guessing like unless and until he himself accepts you know his uh choices and everything that he did and actually understand that yeah like uh because my uh like all, you know all these roots were not as good as i expected it to be that doesn't mean that i will never get to a better future i should try at least like you know that realization that i should try he should i don't know like if if he realizes that maybe maybe he'll be able to get out of this place and as like you know like I, in the previous ep uh, not previous but in one of those episodes that i watched in, in i think it was three or four episodes ago where we saw like you know the ma main character kind of walking around his room and then from the side room comes in this bearded guy and i said at that moment that maybe this is like you know uh him from the parallel world or something like that i said so like that's yeah that's what's actually happened i didn't think that they would show us like you know like give us that reason i thought that it was something like you know they are just brought into it uh like showed us that yeah there is some kind of future that's happening and but today in this episode they completely clearly like you know showed us what actually happened you know at that scene and like you know like that episode was quite weird because suddenly this guy like you know with the bearded guy who looks just like him comes out and kind of like you know blabbers around like speaking nonsense and like you know he gets freaked out the main character of that route gets freaked out and like pushes him away and blocks the whole door and that was it nothing else was like you know implied after that and <laughs> like that's why like you know it's kind of weird because there was no like you know it happened suddenly so now we can understand what actually happened in that scene and the way he was talking like you know like uh, help me like he was trying to say help me or something like that but his voice was not properly coming out that was probably because you know like of what do you call it like sitting in that room for so long that he himself forgot forgot how to speak as he said like i have not talked to any person and i doubt he he was talking with himself you know like so he was not speaking for so many days so when he suddenly saw someone and decided to talk he was unable to because like like talking is something that we do every day like i doubt there is any people like you know except people who actually cannot speak you know like i doubt there is any people or uh, except people who are like you know doing medit like you know like some kind of monks or something so who are under like you know who are doing meditation or something i doubt there is any people who does not speak in a day like this is common for everyone like people speak each and every day so that's why we usually do not even think about like you know like speaking we just speak like it comes naturally to us so imagine if you do not speak for like how many days did he say that he spent there it was a very long time i cannot remember like imagine not speaking to someone for so many days and then suddenly you come across some people like you won't be able to speak like like you know like because you have not spoken for so long it's a weird thing 
so something like that happened at that moment i'm guessing so yeah anyways okay so at, at the beginning i was unable to catch it properly what's happening because like you know like when he like saw the like you know the next room i thought like what is actually happening like why is he freaking out and i thought like is he like uh, like you know kind of getting fearful getting a phobia of actually going out because he is inside like you know the room for so many days uh, at that moment i thought it was something like that but then i actually realized that oh no it is it's just that the next room is also a 4.5 tatami room just like him and when he like you know broke out of the ceiling and saw like you know like tried to go up that was also the same tatami room and that's the moment that i realized that okay like this is not something like you know like something weird is happening here i was still unable to properly gauge everything but when he actually said that like you know like i tried moving around and i crossed 100 or so tatami rooms just like mine it's that moment that i realized that yeah he, he's going in a loop you know like everything everything is connected like all the other you know like uh rooms beside him are also an identical room beside him and uh another thing I, I never really thought about it just a sec i'm just checking that portion out <clears throat> just a sec yeah the ending the ending really shows like you know how the whole parallel world is happening like you know like the new tatami rooms are like springing up one beside the other like this really shows us that you know like like this episode and the, the ending it, it really shows how they're interconnected as to like you know as how like you know different tatami rooms are springing up beside each other even though these tatami rooms are of varying sizes but still like you know like i, I i'm guessing this is kind of implying the whole parallel world thing that's happening and uh, another thing that got cleared up in this episode is i remember i think it was the second or the third episode i can't uh, like you know i can't probably uh remember it but there was this episode where in his room he found a castella which was eaten sloppily and that's the moment i i I, you know, I kind of said i think i as far as i remember i said that oh is this tatami room is exempt from time travel or something like that no that was not it it, it was basically like it was the room was not exempt from like you know time reversal it was just that the room was a room from a parallel world which was somehow interconnected to the episode to this episode where you know these other rooms were also interconnected with the different parallel worlds so basically what's happening is like in this episode he was able to go like you know and reach all the tatami rooms which he has like you know all the tatami rooms all the different routes that he has actually went through and like as he said like you know like different rooms have different things the the, the placement of the books the uh, like you know the loss of a few books and the uh, addition of new books uh, some other thing uh, and then th there's this other room where he actually found you know uh, mm. what was her name uh, i forgot the doll's name what was her name oh my god it was ru Ruko, or what, what was it? Just a sec, I'm going to check. I just said her name in this episode in itself, and I, then I forgot what the hell. Like, I know Kaori, yeah, Kaori. Uh, god. Uh, for a moment i forgot her name okay uh, so yeah as i was saying like there's this one room where uh, he found kaori and the pictures of him like and uh, hanuki as well so like this like you know then it's then that he realized that yeah these rooms are my different parallel world rooms so basically all these episodes the room he has been going in and out of like you know all these nine episodes the room where he ultimately comes back to and looks at the mochiguman that room like in every episode is connected to this episode and like you know his adjoining rooms they're connected to it so we basically saw nine such parallel routes but in reality it was hundreds and thousands of parallel routes that he actually went through 
like you know like it's really funny how we don't even realize that like who knows maybe i'm sitting here talking to like you know <laughs> in front of this the camera and maybe in one of my parallel rooms i'm doing something else and like you know like maybe there are thousands uh, like you know ten thousands a million of these kind of parallel rooms at the same time where i'm doing a different thing you know and like it's funny that i sitting here here myself don't realize that like imagine if you get the memory from all those parallel loops it will completely fry your brain and you won't be able to stay alive because so much information if it gets into it that's why like you know like it's essential that you forget each and every route because otherwise it will be a disaster like imagine hundreds of memories inside your brain where you actually realize that yeah like these are the different parallel routes that i've been living and i have the memory of each and every one of them like that will be very bad and that's why like you know he usually gets like deja vu's whenever he goes and meets the uh you know the old lady who advises him and like you know he he thinks that he has met her before and like all those things but he actually cannot pinpoint the memory so that's what's happening like you know he, he's getting like residual thoughts from all those parallel worlds and like like it's very fascinating to think like who knows like we like you know like we don't have the like the, you know, there's a lot of mysteries in the universe like who knows like these type of parallel worlds maybe they really do exist you know and i i'm not sure if uh, like you know it, if it has been proven that there are actually parallel worlds or not i'm not sure but like you know all these things all these like you know science fiction things all these things that we actually like you know see in movies and animes who knows maybe they are true because like obviously we we don't know about anything in this in this universe has to we only know a fraction about this universe universe so it's really like you know fun to think about the endless possibilities that the universe can have anyways <laughs> and um yeah and as we as we can see like you know like he himself at the beginning was kind of like you know trying to pass the time doing a lot of different things as he said that he was eating doing his daily work uh, like a workout like studying sometimes <clears throat> reading the books that he never even glanced before and like that gave him a whole new what can i say appreciation for whatever he did in these other routes you know like even though he was wasting his time trying to earn money for some kind of fantasy he still did something you know like all these episodes like you know i was kind of saying that like he should definitely like you know all these things that he's doing he's wasting his two years trying to catch a fantasy which he probably won't even get but this episode really shows that even those like you know even those routes where he just tirelessly worked and spent his like you know youth doing some useless thing just so that he can get something which probably doesn't exist even those circumstances were better than this episode where he basically sits around doing nothing you know like and like like this really shows like you know like there's always something worse than like you know like whichever bad future you have there's always something that's even lower than that even worse than that so <laughs> yeah like that's another realization that you know we got from this episode and by the end of it it looks like he's desperate to get out of the tatami hell <laughs> tatami hell <laughs> but you know uh i'm still not sure why he's unable to get out because by the end of it i can see that he kind of realized that yeah whatever i was doing like you know even though it was like you know i wasted my time all these routes i was still doing something like unlike this like you know like my present time where i'm just walking around some tatami rooms doing nothing like he realized that so i wonder like he, he's still not like for a brief moment he was able to connect to a room where uh he himself was present so who knows maybe like you know like i i don't know how they're going to like you know he's going to get out of this hell and because as i said like in the end he kind of realized it but he's still not out so maybe there's some other kind of like you know like condition which needs to be fulfilled so that he can get out of this place who knows 
we'll probably see in the next episode and uh yeah and this also like you know we saw how all the other previous like he was kind of reminiscing about all the other routes that he actually went through like you know like the whole like neko ramen thing where he went and met higuchi uh jogasaki senpai uh, hanuki uh like who else ozu obviously ozu uh they did not show akashi san in this episode that's one thing that i'm curious about who knows and like you know all these things so <laughs> So, so that means like all the episodes like he was kind of stealing 1000 yen for every room so <laughs> so that means like you know like every uh like episode he was losing 1000 yen <laughs> kind of funny and uh yeah that's great you know like this is this is like kind of wrapping itself up it's showing what's actually happening and like we can probably realize what this anime is trying to tell us as as he was saying you know in the, the in the beginning where he was saying that we should be content with the 4.5 tatami room we have like it's true in a way as i was talking about it before like it's true in a way that the 4.5 tatami room like he's saying that we should not go beyond you know like like we should be content with what we have that's basically what he's trying to say but at the same time it's also kind of negative in a way because as they say like you know people can accomplish anything human beings they can accomplish anything so limiting your possibilities by thinking that yeah like i might not be able to go beyond that it's kind of you know restricting yourself but at the same time it's also good at in a way because as we saw in all these other routes that he was trying to like you know trying too hard to get anything but at the same time trying to get that rose filled campus life he was actually wasting that time you know doing almost nothing with no result so it's kind of true in a way kind of like you know not true in a way the way he, he was saying that you know we should be content with 4.5 tatami room not less not more but yeah like like in different circumstances it, it might vary like you should not restrict yourself but at the same time you should not try to do something which you probably won't be able to accomplish in your life and end up wasting your time doing that thing so yeah and yeah that was that's a great and uh, like you know what, what do you call them and Anal not analogies aren't they? yeah i think so like the way he kind of compared the tatami room you know the tatami room to uh his own like what can i say desires like yeah like you know like 4.5 that's the perfect amount nothing more nothing less <laughs> so yeah that was great like especially like the beginning of the episode like he himself, like, uh, like i also remember him saying that people who have more than like you know a 4.5 tatami room they it's kind of a waste for them and in a way i can like obviously realize like you know this this can also be uh, compared to people who have excessive money you know because like as he said that he, they kind of end up wasting that place like if you have a lot of money it's all well and good like you know you you, you feel happy with money and but at the same time like most of the like you know the monetary things that you have it's kind of wasted because you spent like you know like if you have money obviously you're going to spend it so like you know the you end up buying a lot of things that you probably like you know won't be even using it's just there for it and that's what he was saying you, you know like he was talking about the life of uh, what can i say like using only that amount which you actually require that's what he was actually trying to say like not very less like you know not very like uh, like you know big like, like not too much neither too less neither too more and the way he kind of like you know compared that to the 4.5 tatami room was brilliant i love that so yeah guys that was it and i hope in the next episode something happens you know something good happens and like i hope this gets a happy end you know because i'm sure he'll realize something and get out of that room somehow so after that what's going to happen that's the question i i i really hope like you know he gets together with akashi-san 
but who knows in one episode will he be able to do it i hope so you know so let's wait for it so yeah guys thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to tatami galaxy episode number uh, 10 yeah 10 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so yeah guys so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week week with the final episode of tatami galaxy uh, so until then goodbye and have a nice day